Hey everyone, so this is the next tutorial in my pop art series. Lots of times when I create a look, I look for inspiration through paintings and drawings. So I googled pop art sugar skull for inspiration and this picture came up. It's by Carissa Rose Art. She has an Etsy store and a Facebook you can follow her on. But I was instantly inspired by it. So though it isn't exactly as it appears in her work of art, it is inspired by her and I really wanted to credit her. So she has beautiful sugar skulls and beautiful stuff you can check out on her Etsy. So please make sure you check her out. And now let's begin this tutorial. To start the look off, I apply a white body paint to my face and to my body, like my neck, my ears, and my chest. Now I use Major Looks foundation brush to apply it onto the face and a Kabuki brush to apply it on the body. I prefer to use the Major Look foundation brush all over the body, but it's just faster to use a Kabuki brush on larger areas. The body paint I'm using is by Wolf and it's just their white body paint. Now I use Mehran's Aqua Blue face paint to start painting on some of the designs. So I use it to paint the circles around the eyes. I use it to paint on the nose and to paint on the web design on the forehead, like the spider design. I didn't actually make it that even because you'll see later on. It's just this look involves a lot of different colors in the same spots and mixing them together. I use it to outline the skull and to paint on the little teeth on the sides and just to paint on lots and lots of different features including the flower design on the bottom of the chin and on the body. On the body I added a few random things just because in Carissa's picture the girl in the picture doesn't really have a body just a flower below her head so when I painted the flower on the rest of my body it looked a little bare compared to the face so I just added more designs. Then I took Mehran's blue body paint I mixed a little of Mehran's black body paint in with it and I used that color to start outlining some of the designs I painted on. And below the cheekbones, you're going to paint a crisscross design, and that crisscross design will be repeated many, many times in this look. I also use it to paint on the lips, and I use it to outline the um, web design, and outline the teeth, and outline the flower design. And you do not have to like make the outline perfect, because you want the colors to kind of mix in together. And not every outline needs to be perfect if you pay attention like to the web design that's on my forehead. I didn't outline every single like part of the web that I painted on, if that makes sense. I just outline pieces here and there, or I don't fully outline it, if that makes sense. Um, it's just randomly. You just choose to randomly outline some spots. I do it on the eye as well. And this just kind of makes it look more like a painting, more like a drawing. I, I don't know. It just it does look cool. You got to use that pretty much to outline a little bit of everything. You're also going to use that blue to create a crisscross design on your neck and on your shoulders. So especially below the neck, you're going to have to make longer lines than you did like on the face. Basically, you're going to do the same thing using different colors. So right now I'm using a very like vibrant, almost neon green face paint. And I'm making a crisscross design around the eyes. And then I go ahead and use it to paint on some features and then also to create more crisscross designs in other areas. The color I'm using is from Wolf and it is their light green face paint. It's from the 12 Hydra Color Appetizer Palette, but I'm sure you can buy it on its own. And yeah, I just use that green to create lots of crisscross designs, like I said, and to paint features like the um, leaves that are on the cheeks and then like to fill in the web and the leaves that are like near the flower. So basically, I'm doing the same thing using multiple colors. I use Wolf's green face paint to outline some of the areas where I use the light green, just to make it more vibrant and define it a little bit more so you can see the crisscross designs a little better. And then I use Wolf's pink face paint, and all these colors are in the Hydra Color palette. I use that to create more designs and outline other things. You know, same old, same old. So to create this look, you can use any color you want. You can use multiple colors like I did, or you can use just two colors. It's all up to you. I went with multiple colors because I wanted to look kind of pop arty to go with uh, my pop art series. And also because it's like Easter time and I just really wanted to use pastels and light colors. I was thinking of using a black face paint to define everything so that it would really 
stand out but the problem with that is it would take away from the colors so I decided not to do that and just to use a darker green and a darker blue to outline things and make it stand out a bit more than using the black. The main colors I used were blue and pink so I used the pink a lot along the jawline to add the crisscross design and I used it to fill in the nose and the lips just like in Carissa's creation. I really wanted to create the look exactly how it looked in the picture but I don't really have the face paints that I needed for it and I know you can mix colors together but that takes a while and lots of times when I film I film after I get off of work so I'm like really really tired so sometimes I kind of hurry the process and I make do with what I have. My favorite thing about this look though the picture like the thing that drew me to the picture as soon as I saw it was the color and just how beautiful it is and then the lips like I just love the way the lips were done so that was like my favorite thing to actually paint on like I couldn't wait to paint on the lips. So basically that's really what I did I eventually just used black face paint to outline my eyes and then added mascara and fake eyelashes so don't be afraid to be kind of sloppy with this look I mean not totally sloppy but you do want to mix the colors in a bit with each other and use like three different colors to outline just one thing and then you can go ahead and freestyle it as much as you want so that is it for the tutorial if you like it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to check out Carissa's um, Etsy and like her on Facebook like I love her sugar skulls and I would love to recreate some more of them I just don't want to do too much because that is her art and it is just like it's beautiful so please check her out and like her page and tell her thank you for inspiring me so anyways I will see you guys in my next tutorial which I'm really excited about and so I'm just telling you guys that is Skylanders and if you're not familiar with Skylanders you might want to google it it's just like a video game and I did one of the characters from it and I'm really excited about it so I will see you guys take care bye